Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 26th, 2020. So last Friday, as we were heading into the Memorial Day weekend, markets ended up closing little change. We just kind of chopped around on extremely light volume. But this morning we have quite an interesting change. So how about we settle into our office chairs, buckle up, and let's get ready for the short week, the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we have futures hopping and popping this morning. Over the weekend there was a Another company that issued news that they are beginning a clinical trial of a possible vaccine. That's got the futures all Twitter painted this morning. And we are leaping higher at this very moment. We're at 478 uh, points on Dow futures. And we're just all kinds of excited. Now, I don't know when I've ever seen a market this excited about a phase one clinical trial. Um, let's kind of keep in mind that that really doesn't mean anything at all. Um, as a matter of fact, um, we all know that these clinical trials often run into problems, failures, all kinds of things. So the market is acting pretty crazy this morning. Um, in this big gap up, but just super, super hopeful. So let's take a look and see what that means for the day. Well, first off, technically what that means is we're gonna finally break through this resistance that has really held us down for a month um, in uh, the Dow chart. Let's keep in mind that what has occurred here retail you and I haven't really had much of an opportunity to participate in any of this price movement all that much because the biggest part of the move that's happened over the last week, we get had a huge gap up, we kind of went nowhere for the entire week, and now we're gapping up another 500 points here this morning. So the majority of the price action is happening overnight. If there was ever any wonder from anyone here um, watching this, if institutions have the majority control over these markets, there it is. Retail really hasn't had a major opportunity to even participate in these big moves because they're occurring in the overnight or over the weekend in the price action um, reacting to news. So there is your proof if you ever needed proof. Now, the question this morning is, will we find follow through buyers or is it possible those bears could come in pushing this back down? Remember, big gap up opens can sometimes end as a um, pop and drop. So for example, we saw one right over here where we gap up big, gap up big above a resistance level Notice that above a resistance level and find nothing but sellers coming in or profit takers coming in. Could that be a possibility today? Well, yeah, of course it could be, but we could also get that follow through buying. So what we're gonna have to do this morning as retail traders is we're gonna have to watch this price action closely. And remember not to get caught up in the fear of missing out. That often occurs in a morning like this and can sometimes really punish the retail trader if we just immediately rush in um, on emotion, trying to chase anything we can, uh, feeling that that missing out um, emotion and kind of getting our head handed to us in the process. So be very, very careful. Remember guys, I still have this on the chart. This is the Goldman target. Um, they believe where we're gonna be um, over the next three months, um, whether that is true. I just put it on there because I think these predictions are absolutely silly. The only thing that we can really do is follow the price action of the market. Goldman, could prove to be absolutely wrong on this as we move forward. And right now, the bulls seem just relentless to buy anything at all um, in the market. And that's where we're going. We're popping up this morning. Let's take a look at the technicals here just a second. If we notice here our 50-day moving average starting to turn up, that's going to provide some support 
in that chart. But let's also keep in mind just how far away that is. If we were to find sellers, let's, I'm going to go to the Dow here real quickly and just take a quick measurement from up here about where we're going to gap up in our open, just back down to the 50 day moving average. That's almost 2000 points in a drop. So keep that in mind. We have big moves in this market. And if the sellers were to come back in, um, we could see a substantial pullback. So watch that carefully. Now also keep in mind, we have our 500 day moving average above. You can see we're opening into here. 500 moving average still above and our 200 moving average above that that can serve as resistance if we find the bullishness to continue to push higher. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY is pushing right into or just above its 200 day moving average at the open. So we're going to get gap right into that range of that 200 day moving average. Will there be some bears there? I don't know. They tried and tried and tried all week to reach up there and they're going to get it in an overnight gap um, over a long weekend. So just watch that closely in case there are some bears up there as we gap into that resistance level of that 200 day. And also note once again that that 50 day moving average has started to turn up and that we have a little bit of support in there. But if I go to to the S&P 500 and we actually measure from above here that 200 day if we were to slide back to the 50 or retest that 50 just want to give you guys the impression of how big a move how big these moves could potentially be that's 280 Dow point or S&P points that could be uh, traversed if that were to occur. One thing I do think though that we have as an advantage here is that we are above our 500 day and our 34 EMA. So we could find some support in here, meaning that the S&P 500 is a little bit technically stronger than the Dow itself. So something to pay attention to. The NASDAQ, um, unbelievably strong and the NASDAQ is pushing up gas up high or uh, very high here this morning and as you can see pushing right back into price resistance levels and the possibility that we have completely recovered um, could completely recover the COVID-19 sell-off um, with tech just rallying right back to all-time highs pretty pretty amazing considering the state of the economy um, in general. And then IWM, IWM also in rally mode this morning, gapping up this morning. We are finally breaking through those resistance levels that uh, we've struggled with in the chart, as you can see right here, gapping back up, gapping right into um, a little bit of an open gap. Let's get rid of these lines again. We've got a little tiny open gap up here. We're gapping up into there. Can we push on higher or up toward that 200 day moving average? <laughs> well, let's wait and see. Pretty substantial decline if we do fail here and slip back. So just keep that in mind. If, if uh, profit takers do come in this morning, we'll want to make note of that. Right now, there's no indication that that is the case. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX has been kind of struggling along and I'm going to go to um, a chart here with just my drawings on. We've been kind of struggling, struggling along here. We've had this bouncing around. We ran into that possibility that we could even breach the downtrend here temporarily, but that failed. And now we're resting right here on a level of price support in the chart. My guess is this morning, everyone, that we're going to see that VIX drop or gap below that level of support today. We may actually get into that 25 handle today uh, for the first time in a long time here on the VIX, fear dropping out. Now the question will become, will we get follow through buying today or could that VIX turn around and, and pop back up? I don't know that, but we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at T2122. Here is the thing that gives me a little bit of concern. T2122 was also already pushed up here into this uh, bearish resistance zone where we we're a little bit stretched out overall. Now we're gapping, um, you know, 475 points 
on the news of a clinical phase one clinical trial um, seems pretty remarkable to me but that's what's happening and so we're gapping up here um, this morning we're likely to be pushing these upper limits here in the mar market and that's what brings in that idea that we could see some profit takers and to be really really careful not to chase in this morning first thing let's make sure there's actually follow-through buyers uh, coming through this morning anything is possible but let's watch that closely and remember we have quite a little bit on our economic calendar for today so let's take a look at that economic calendar and take a peek at what could could be affecting the market as we open. So you, as you can see here at 9 a.m., we have a Case-Shiller report. Now that can move the market around, but probably not a ton. We'll wanna keep an eye on it though. At 10 o'clock, we have consumer confidence. Though that obviously can move the market, and then we have new home sales that can certainly move the market. Later on this afternoon, we have a Fed speaker, and they're going to be peppered throughout this entire week. Um, so let's watch those um, reports. Those could move us around a little bit and have an effect. Let's also remember that tensions between U.S. and China continue to grow. That may actually be creating more of a situation or more of a threat to the market than even COVID-19. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Remember, the Senate last week passed a bill that would restrict or potentially restrict Chinese companies from listing here in the United States and requiring them to adapt to U.S. accounting standards. Um, probably a um, well it's a legislative reaction to the fraud that occurred in um, LK and so many people being damaged by that so um, probably a necessary measure but it's going to create some tensions and we also have China uh, enforcing a crackdown over there in Hong Kong that could also add to a little bit of tensions um, overall so let's keep an eye on that let's also remember that that the uh, death toll today um, uh, from COVID-19 is likely to top 100,000. And once we hit some of those grim milestones, uh, that can certainly have some effect on um, investor sentiment as well. So just keep that in mind as we move on through today. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, it takes quite a little bit of effort to put out uh, one of these videos every day that the market is open. And I certainly, certainly appreciate all of the support everyone is showing me for, for doing that work. I truly appreciate it that the channel continues to grow we continue to reach more people and i just want to say thank you to everyone who clicks those thumbs up buttons and leaves a brief comment you guys humble me every day with those very very kind comments and i thank you so much for that so please take advantage of this information and always feel free to share it uh, feel free to grab that link and post it on your facebook groups or or anything um, helping us to continue Continue to grow. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it a ton. So, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and things that we might want to be watching going forward? Now, I have, and I want to make sure that I'm very clear on this. I have picked up a position here in Cisco, and Cisco is gapping up a bit this morning. Now, Cisco has been in, it broke its downtrend. They reported a good earnings report and they guided forward with the idea that a lot of employers may start doing more work at home type situations. And they have a major, um, a major impact in that um, online networking um, system out there. So as you can see, Cisco looking quite good here in an uptrend breaking the downtrend and then we kind of consolidated sideways over here looks like this morning we're going to get that confirmation of follow through and cisco's moving up here this morning might want to keep an eye on that i wouldn't 
want to suggest everyone should chase into that. And um, please understand that since I own this, probably have a little bit of bias on that position, but just something to watch and maybe put on your watch list. And remember guys, any of the stocks that I bring up in these videos is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, I, I cannot advise you on that. I don't even want to advise you on that, but I want to point out these stocks that do have some potential, something that you should evaluate and maybe put on your list to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at PKI. PKI is a healthcare sector stock. This was actually brought up by a member of Rightway Options and uh, put this on a list, put alert on here. Now this doesn't have, I don't believe there's very good options in this uh, stock, but a beautiful potential setup. We have this nice little wedging pattern in here, nice little tight consolidation forming, and that possibility that that could push on through. We'll wanna keep an eye on PKI. Um, CCJ, CCJ is another that could be moving higher here. We'll wanna keep an eye on this if it, if it can break through this resistance above, but I'll, but I want you to notice that what I have done is actually placed an alert for the potential move down. The reason I have that in play is because of this little downtrend going on. It is gapping higher this morning, so this alert will not trigger, but I'm kind of keeping an eye on that possibility that it could move south. Take a look at Twitter, guys. Twitter had a really nice move the last, uh, last week and then rested a couple of days. Looks like Twitter's wanting to gap up a bit this morning holding in here on this pattern. So I think any opportunity in here where this kind of rests or gives us a little bit of consolidation could um, set up that resumption of the upside trend. The reason I say resumption is because we started a downtrend here, we just held it support. And now we are trying to find that resumption point in the trend. So keep an eye on Twitter. Beyond Meat continues to set up looking very, very strong here. This has been a really, really tight consolidation um, here in Beyond Meat after gapping through that resistance. Keep an eye. We have uh, keep an eye on the fact that we have price resistance above, still challenging this stock. But these nice little Doji candles in here showing us that rest and consolidation as we slide over here toward trend we want to be watching for that next possible move higher keep an eye on that now kroger has been kind of an interesting stock kroger obviously we're going to continue to eat grocery groceries even during covid and kroger um, started to push through on higher but struggled broke down in support and i'm seeing it consolidate right in here now this is one of those stocks that could go either direction Either we reclaim this price support and hold it, or we see that possibility that we fail at resistance and start moving down. So keep an eye on Kroger here. It could really go either direction. EVER is another one to pay attention to um, here today. EVER has been t consolidating after this nice breakout here consolidating this move in a rather tight consolidating pattern. And you can see if we pop through up here, I've got an alert on that chart to keep an eye on. We could be moving that on up here soon. So watch EVER. Dollar General. These dollar stores um, seem to do pretty good during times of market um, troubles or market turmoil. And Dollar General has risen dramatically, getting a major advantage um, out of the COVID situation. So as you can see, we broke that support, rallied back up, and we're trying to hold this area right in here, trying to hang on to that support area. If buyers can step up in here, we may have an advantage to um, follow that up in the next leg higher. So keep an eye on Dollar General. Several other stocks that are looking very, very good. We have eBay. eBay had a big, beautiful bullish move on Friday and is popping higher this morning. Keep an eye on that. Be careful not to chase it. Remember, we're going to be pushing out here to all-time highs in eBay. You'll want to keep an eye on that, but it looks like it's gapping up into that level first thing this morning. So looking really strong here. Etsy. 
Etsy has also been very strong with folks shopping at home, uh, buying products um, online. It looks like Etsy has had a major advantage in that. Etsy breaking through a substantial level of resistance here in the chart and is looking strong. Friday had a nice little pop back up. So although we struggled and couldn't quite make it out of there, we pulled back. We're finding this price support bullishness on Friday and now a little bit of a push higher this morning. Keep an eye on Etsy. Once again, I want to remind everyone, this has that possibility that could go either direction. We could actually move on up and reclaim or resume that trend in here. Or we have that possibility that we move up, fail, and create that downtrend. So keep an eye on Etsy. It could go either direction. So there's a few stocks for you to start off this short week, only four days this week. Anything is possible. Right now, Dow futures are pointing to a 500-point gap up. The bulls are pushing hard here this morning. So keep an eye on this. Be careful not to rush in just in case there's some profit takers. Don't get caught up in that fear of missing out and uh, run yourself into some trouble chasing stocks this morning. Be very, very careful about the price patterns you trade. And remember, it's all about the price action. Keep a close eye on that. Anything is possible. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll see you all right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.